Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. Y'all know I look a hot mess. Um, it's all good though, cause we outside. It's sunny, it's breezy. Don't get it twisted. When the wind blow, it get cold. I'm thinking you were made for me. So today, first of all, Welcome to Tommy's Homestead and Garden. Thank y'all for being here. Um, here's another gardening video. Today, we um, we bought something over the weekend, so I need to get it potted. And I have a few steps I have to do in order to do that. So before I get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, share the video out if you choose to, and let me grab my pan. So, I put, whoop, gotta block the sun with my head. So I put the um, pan right here where I can reach it with some water in it. And the water is, it's gotten a little cold, not real cold. I started out with warm water because I wanted to soak the roots of my new thing that i just bought y'all know before i bought some blueberries and i did not do well with them because one when i soaked the roots i forgot and left them outside and so they were soaking for hours and they aren't supposed to soak over two hours or they can get rot and these are uh, a blueberry collection one is misty and one is legacy but it doesn't matter on the spacing because they're both going to have their own individual container that they will be in but they will be near each other so that they can cross contaminate did i say that right <laughs> so that they can cross um i can't think of the word y'all i'm having a brain freeze Cross-pollinate, I said cross-contaminate. What am I thinking about? So I'm gonna take them out. This is what they look like right here. They already have some greenery on it so that the roots are well soaked. And then I'm going to have a hole that's about eight to 10 inches deep and wide, place the plant inside of that hole lightly fill with soil and water with um, a gallon of water and then put more soil on top of that once it settles in water once a week regular well regularly once a week but well so give them a lot of water once a week and they should be okay and I'm going to tell you, no, I did not do that. That's how I messed that thing up. So, let me sit these over here real quick. Let's see if I can show you because it has two holes in it. So, I'm using this right here. <laughs> and I'm trying not to waste my soil because we don't want to waste soil. It works because... I had these for about three months now and I was undecided whether or not I wanted to actually grow in these or just put some of my um, food preps in them. So I said, there's such a pretty vibrant color and it would bring out the color in this yard. So this part is like, it's a mesh material. So the water's gonna go, you see, you can see my hand you can literally see my hand so that you know the water is going to soak through it but i also sliced some holes in it to help it out so that the water is not sitting there for an extended period of time even though it will go through so what i used was just a paring knife and all i did was go in it like that and twist it around like that and I had a hole so I have um, 
eight holes in here, maybe nine. Now it's 10, because I like an even number. I'm not gonna put any holes in the side. There's no need for that. You don't have holes in the side of your container. Although you do have holes at around this area in case this part gets um, stopped up. So I will slice just inside. And this is just cardboard in here, y'all. I just cut it and all it is is, is cardboard. So I got a hole here on that side. I want to do the front because I want it to, to look nice. I want to look crazy. And this is just going to allow any extra water to go out the sides like that. So I'm about to, and I have two of them. One is blue, one is pink, and let's get started. I don't know. I'm gonna use it and I should have my gloves. But I don't want to get I don't get back up, y'all. To be honest, I don't. Okay. So before I do that, let's go ahead and open this up. We have to cut this off because it has some kind of plastic zip tie on it. It's kind of sharp, so it shouldn't be too bad. And all I'm going to do is, whatever this is, I'm going to knock it off into this pink bag. Okay, so. And it comes in this paper if you were ever wondering when you saw these in the store and you're just going to take the paper off it says and i'm just going to allow that soil to drop down into the container get rid of that and here we are we have the root system i don't know if you can make that out from the sun right here this one is I want to mix them up. This is the Misty. So the Misty is going to be in the pink one. That way if I forget, I can look back at the video and mark it later. And all I'm going to do is beat that off. Beat that off. And I'm going to place it. You probably can't see. Down here, I have some water. And I'm just going to put the roots in there. It said roots only. So I have it in there. And now I'm gonna add this soil. Try not to waste it. In here. I do this without making a mess, so I don't know. But we're gonna try. You want a nice light soil that allow the roots to move around. sitting in a chair today because when I was sitting on the ground where well, I had my little seat on the ground something bit me on my booty I was about to say something else okay I still haven't cooked okay so now that can soak for up to two hours but that's not what I'm gonna do. Let's 
put a little bit more in. I love playing in soil. And so that's about how much I have in here because I have to add soil to the hole itself. So now I'm going to, in the center, see, I can't dig y'all, show y'all. Oh, I think you can see there. Some kind of way I rigged that. Anyway, I'm just going to dig down a hole about 8 to 10 inches. The soil is falling in. That's the only thing. So I got to press it down. If I need to add soil, of course I will. Let's look at this and see what she's looking like. You just don't want her to dry out. So I'm gonna shake her around in here and get some of that old soil off. I don't wanna touch it. So much different than how I did it the last time. I don't know what I was thinking about y'all. I literally put it in the water and went in the house and fell asleep. Woke up and was ran downstairs like, oh my God. Okay, so this root is really long. So I'm gonna go down a little bit long, deeper. It's about to say longer. I want her to be up. Put some soil in here on her. This, I'm literally losing using this whole bag the way it seems. Probably should have went up a little higher, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's really not enough soil. We're going to press it down lightly. And now we're going to water it. And then add more soil around it. Pressing it down gets the air pockets out from around the roots. That way when I water it, the roots are going to get the water. I didn't want to put her in something really big. And I'm hoping she does great in here because she looks beautiful in there already. I don't know if that's picking up on how pretty she's looking, but she looks beautiful. So I'm going to sit her on the ground wherever I want her. Wherever I want her. I literally don't know. I didn't think that forehead. So I'm going to put her at the corner end of this um, pavement. It's like I'm feeling air pockets, y'all, still. Okay. We have to do the other one, but I will do that one off camera or 
I'll do it separately and won't talk through it. Okay, let's put her, and it has this little neat handle over here, so that helps moving her. And she's not heavy. So for now, we're gonna sit her right here on the porch. That way she can get sun. And we'll put the blue one over on the other side. Come on over, let's pick up where we left off. You and I had lots of love just to top it off. Never let it stop I just want your everything, baby Maybe later we can dance Never let it go Listen to our favorite songs on the radio Losing up and lose ourselves to this feeling Oh, I just want your everything, baby I'll be deep under your influence tonight Ooh, keep it coming, babe I don't mind y'all here's the finished results i forgot to record me doing the water adding to it so what i did was i finished both of them and then i added one gallon of water to each pot once the water settled then i added more soil on top of that and then I topped it off with some mulch. It doesn't say to top off with mulch. I did the mulch to help with um, moisture, which the soil that I use helps with moisture. Um, but I wanted to do that and also to try to keep the soil a little bit warm because they will be outside. Um, it's not going to be freezing or anything like that. But it's still going to be cold. So that's that one. And... This one is the blueberry mist, and I left these right here on it. Um, I will label them. I have it tucked, so I don't think it will blow away or anything, but I will label them with the exact blueberry that it is because they are two different blueberries. And then I have 
this one in this corner is a blueberry legacy and she's kind of leaning but that's how she is she's in there straight and i have her down i'll press her down just a little bit more make sure there's no air pockets in here and that's it for that y'all So I do want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, if you sow something, you will grow something. So y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Go out and spread God's love with distance, peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy's Homestead and Garden.